Battle Through the Heavens The Nine Dragon Lightning Flame was ranked 12th on the Heavenly Flame ranking. There was no one present who was unaware of the strength of this flame. Moreover, with Tang Zhen's unfathomable strength, an ordinary person's spiritual strength would likely be incinerated into nothingness upon contact with it. Although the spiritual strength of those here was not weak, they were unable to endure such a test. Tang Ying's words had caused the large hall to become a lot quieter after they were spoken. The alchemists who were filled with haughtiness earlier all recoiled their necks. None of them dared to say anything. The two external elders from the Pill Tower mused for a moment before slowly uttering, Valley Chief Tang, all of us are aware of how powerful the Nine Dragon Lightning Flame is. There is a dragon's might gathered in the Heavenly Flame. Hence, it possesses the miraculous effect of shocking one's soul. It is likely that there is hardly anyone present who is able to use one's spiritual strength to endure it. Tang Jin smiled when he heard this. He said, Grandmaster Huan, please rest assured that the old me knows my limits with regards to this. I will not allow anyone to be injured. As long as one is able to endure for ten minutes within the Nine Dragon Lightning Flame, one will be considered to have passed, after all, the person who is aiding me must possess the ability to withstand the Nine Dragon Lightning Flame. Otherwise, he will only end up being injured. Tang Zhen's eyes swept over the large hall after saying this. He grinned and said, Since I have already invited all of you grandmasters over, I will naturally not let anyone waste their trip here. Even if you are unable to endure this Nine Dragon Lightning Flame, the Burning Flame Valley will still give everyone a big gift. Everyone in the hall finally began to think objectively after hearing these words. They did not have any grudge with Tang Zhen. Moreover, with the other party's status, there was no need for him to play any games with them. The red-clothed lady looked down at the hesitating alchemist grandmaster in the large hall beside Tang Zhen. The corner of her mouth was involuntarily curled. These fellows were all so afraid when they heard of the Nine Dragon Lightning Flame. It was as though they were afraid of her father quietly murdering them. The red-clothed lady's pretty eyes suddenly settled on a somewhat deserted spot in the large hall. Coincidentally, she saw a calm-faced Xiao Yan who was holding a teacup. She became slightly startled. This fellow did appear to be quiet calm, but she wondered if this was merely an act. Since Valley Chief Tang has put it this way, it is only natural that we should not act cowardly. All right, we will perform the test as Valley Chief as proposed. A white-haired, old man swept his eyes around him. He finally nodded his head a moment later and replied. The smile on Tang Jin's face became wider when he heard this. He flicked his finger and the bundle of silver-colored flames on his palm slowly flew forward. Finally, it was suspended in the air of the large hall. The silver-colored flames curled as it burned. Nine tiny fire dragons danced around it, appearing as though the flames possessed an intelligence. Perhaps it was because of the dragon's might permeating it, but it vaguely caused one's spiritual strength to feel somewhat suppressed. Which grandmaster will try first? Tang Zhen inquired with a smile. Ads by Pub Future. The large hall was quiet for a moment after these words were spoken. Immediately, a white robed, old man stood up. He cupped his hands to Tang Zhen as he said, Since no one wants to begin, allow the old me to give it a try. The old me has long heard of the nine dragon lightning flame of the burning flame valley. This trip will not be considered a waste if I am able to test its might today. Cuckoo, it is Grandmaster Hua. Please. Tang Zhen smiled as he responded. This elder is called Hua Chen. He is also an alchemist at the peak of the tier 6 level. He possesses some reputation in the middle region. Elder Qi Hua by Xiao Yen's side seemed to be aware that Xiao Yen did not recognize any of these people. Hence, he softly introduced them to him. Xiao Yen nodded his thanks to Elder Qi Hua. 
After which, his eyes turned to the old man called Hua Chen. He was extremely curious about the might of this nine dragon lightning flame. The old man named Hua Chen clenched his hand and a cluster of deep red flames rose from his hand. A spiritual strength swiftly surged from between his brows as well. After which, it entered the bushel of flames. The flames immediately began to wiggle, transforming into a palm-sized human figure made of fire. Find up Ted Ovels on n slash v slash elbin, dot, co slash m. The fire human figure was completely formed from spiritual strength. However, he had added a layer of fire protection outside of the spiritual strength. This person's flame should be a kind of beast flame. However, there is too much of a gap between it and the nine dragon lightning flame. It will be unable to endure, Xiao Yen glanced at the layer of red-colored flames while muttering to himself. While Xiao Yen was muttering to himself, Hua Chen flicked his finger and the palm-sized fire human figure rushed out. Finally, it entered the cluster of silver-colored flames in front of everyone's eyes. Roar! The fire human figure had just entered the silver-colored flame when a deep dragon roar, barely audible to one's ears, suddenly sounded. The instant the dragon roar sounded, the nine fire dragons within the silver-colored flames immediately rushed over. They violently collided with the fire human figure. One of their enormous mouths tore open and swallowed a layer of red-colored flame around the fire human figure. Groan! Hua Chen's spiritual strength was annihilated under the frightening temperature of the nine dragon lightning flame the moment the deep red flame disappeared. His body trembled as his feet took a couple of steps back. His expression was slightly pale. It is indeed worthy of being a heavenly flame. The old me admits defeat. Hua Chen bitterly smiled and shook his head after stabilizing his body. He let out a sigh and returned to his seat with a bitter expression. The beast flame, which he was proud of, did not even possess the slightest ability to resist this nine dragon lightning flame. Some of the alchemist grandmasters present involuntarily changed their expressions when they saw that Hua Chen was unable to even endure even a minute. Was this nine dragon lightning flame so powerful? Ads by Pub Future there were a couple of other alchemists who did not buy the thought and gave it an attempt after Hua Chen. However, all of them were unable to endure the tearing and biting of the nine fire dragons. Not one of them could endure through the ten minutes. The old fellow called Grandmaster Mo, who had ridiculed Xiao Yan earlier, was among them. Tang Zhen might not reveal any emotion on his face but his heart sighed with some disappointment when he saw the alchemists failing one after another. It seemed that he could only test if the two external elders from the Pill Tower could reach the target he required. Another alchemist grandmaster failed once again. At this moment, the only ones in the large hall who had yet to make an attempt were the two external elders from the Pill Tower and Xiao Yen. Of course, Xiao Yen was naturally ignored by the others. Almost everyone's gazes were thrown to these two external elders. After all, only these two people were genuine tier 7 alchemists within this large hall. Nine dragon lightning flame, dragons might shakes one's soul, this test is really not an easy one. The external elder of the pill tower called Grandmaster Huan was the first to let out a soft sigh. He exchanged looks with his companion before slowly standing up. A white-colored flame rose from his palm. This flame was somewhat unusual because the flame was emitting a chilly air when it rose. Sky-cold flame. This flame of Grandmaster Huan should have been obtained from the Sky Bone Python's body, right? It is rumored that this Sky Bone Python will only appear in the regions where the bone-chilling flame appears. This beast flame within its body is similar to the bone-chilling flame. Even Tang Zhen was startled when he saw this white-colored flame that was emitting cold air. Xiao Yan raised his brows when he heard this. He was somewhat surprised as he studied the sky-cold flame in Grandmaster Huan's hand. 
It was unexpected that this thing was sort of related to teacher's bone-chilling flame. Ugh, the bone-chilling flame. I did not possess that kind of blessing and only managed to luckily meet the sky bone python. Grandmaster Juan bitterly laughed. After which, his spiritual strength spread out from between his brows and merged into the flame. Immediately, the flame wiggled, transforming into a white-colored python that entered the silver-colored flame in a flash. This python, covered in a white flame, had just entered the silver flame when the nine fire dragons within it suddenly pounced over. This time around, however, the white-colored python did possess some ability. It was able to firmly protect the flame on its surface, preventing it from being swallowed by the fire dragons. After which, the python within the flame and the fire dragons were at a stalemate. The expression of Grandmaster Juan became more and more solemn. The sky-cold flame might be somewhat related to the bone-chilling flame, but it was ultimately not a heavenly flame. It was impossible for it to truly fight the nine dragon lightning flame. Time swiftly flowed by in the quiet, large hall. Just when the white-colored fire python was about to be completely swallowed by the nine fire dragons, the ten-minute mark had finally arrived. Grandmaster Juan hurriedly beckoned with his hand and the fire python fled. After which, it rushed back into his body. It is indeed worthy of being a heavenly flame ranked twelfth on the heavenly flame ranking. I must admit its greatness, Grandmaster Juan finally sighed in relief as bitterly laughed after pulling back the fire python. Congratulations Grandmaster Juan, you have succeeded. Tang Zhen smiled and said. After which, his eyes slid to the other external elder from the pill tower. Grandmaster Xiao Asterisk, it is your turn. TL, this Xiao Asterisk is not Xiao Yan Xiao. The flame belonging to this Grandmaster Xiao Asterisk was not as powerful as that of his companion. From the way Xiao Yan saw it, it could only be considered an upper middle level beast flame. It was likely that he would not be able to endure for ten minutes by using this kind of beast flame to contend with the nine dragon lightning flame. It was just as Xiao Yan had expected. When the seven minute mark passed, the blue colored flame was unable to endure any longer and it was torn into pieces by the nine fire dragons that pounced forward together. Grandmaster Xiao could only sigh when he saw this. He shook his head at Tang Zhen before returning to his seat. This kind of test not only tested one's spiritual strength, but also tested whose flame was stronger. Disappointment flashed across Tang Zhen's eyes when he saw that Grandmaster Xiao Asterisk did not endure until the end. He sighed, I have troubled everyone. Currently, only Grandmaster Juan alone has passed the test. However, the old me needs two people. Isn't there still an alchemist, Grandmaster? Tang Zhen was startled when he saw all the gazes in the hall gathering on Xiao Yan's body. He hesitated for a moment before opening his mouth to ask, This young friend Yan Xiao, would you like to give it a try? Tang Zhen was naturally aware that quite a number of people present were adopting the mentality of wanting to watch a good show. However, from the way he saw it, since Xiao Yan dared to come to this burning flame valley, he should also possess some ability. After all, he was quite as sure of Elder Qi Hua's abilities. The red-clothed lady beside Tang Zhen crossed her hands over her chest. Her pretty eyes were looking at Xiao Yan with interest. She also wanted to know whether this young man, who was praised by Tang Zhen earlier, had some ability or if he was merely a country bumpkin. Since I have come to the Burning Flame Valley, I will naturally have to give this test a try. Xiao Yen slightly smiled in front of many eyes and slowly nodded. Some alchemist grandmasters in the hall involuntarily revealed ridicule on their faces when they heard this. Even they were unable to endure for long against the nine dragon lightning flame, much less such a young fellow. Since young friend Xiao Yan is interested, please give it a try. If you are able to pass, you and Grandmaster Huan will fill up the two spots. Tang Zhen raised his hand as he spoke. At the same time, 
He smiled, feeling a little surprised by Xiao Yan's boldness. Xiao Yan slowly stood up. He looked at the silver flame suspended in the air of the large hall. Immediately, he clenched his hand, and a cluster of jade green flames curled up and rose on it. Xiao Yan's current control of the glazed lotus heart flame had reached the extent where he could manipulate it at will. Putting it bluntly, other than the most unfathomable Tang Zhen, if anyone seated here were to compete with him in terms of flame control, none of them would be able to compare with him. This included the two external elders of the Pill Tower. The appearance of the jade green flame caused some people in the large hall to knit their eyebrows. Under Xiao Yan's suppression, they were unable to sense even a little of the temperature that spread from the flame. Such a low temperature flame is likely inferior to even that of some flames that are formed from Dou Qi, right? Although the alchemists seated in this place were all haughty, they were not fools. Naturally, they were aware that it was impossible for this temperature to be the true temperature of this flame. However, all of them could not understand why Xiao Yan had suppressed the flame. Tang Zhen on the leader's seat frowned without anyone noticing. His eyes stared firmly at the flame. He could vaguely sense that this jade green flame was not that simple. Xiao Yan was unconcerned about the surrounding eyes. A thought passed through his mind as his spiritual strength entered the flame. The flame wiggled, transforming into a palm sized exquisite jade green fire lotus. The flame slowly rotated. It was completely jade green in color, appearing just like top quality jade. Its flawless manner was just like an artistic work that gave one the feeling of being unwilling to part with it. Xiao Yan flicked his finger gently, and the fire lotus slowly rotated as it approached the cluster of silver colored flames in the air. After which, it quietly merged into it in front of everyone's anxious eyes. The nine fire dragons immediately sensed something when the jade green fire lotus entered the cluster of silver flames. They carried a deep dragon roar as they swiftly pounced over. A cold smile surfaced on the faces of the few alchemist grandmasters when they saw this scene. The ridicule in their eyes became even denser. That manner was as though they had foreseen the miserable situation that would occur a moment later. However, the scene they anticipated did not appear as they had imagined. The cold smiles had just climbed up their faces when they suddenly stiffened. Immediately, the eyes of everyone in the large hall protruded out. The nine fire dragons carried a fierce momentum as they ruthlessly surrounded the fire lotus within the interior of the silver-colored flame. However, they instantly became sluggish. A moment later, everyone saw a scene that caused them to be stunned. The nine fire dragons, which were still acting in a mighty and majestic manner, appeared to have seen a frightening thing at this moment. All of them fled in a lightning-like manner. After the nine fire dragons fled far away, they once again slowly swam closer. However, they only dared to linger around the fire lotus. They wandered around continuously, but did not dare to pounce forward and bite the fire lotus like they had during previous occasions. This scene caused others to feel a disbelief and caused the entire large hall to descend into a strange silence. Those alchemist grandmasters who were waiting to watch a show displayed exceptionally comical expressions on their faces when they looked at the separate fire lotus and fire dragons within the flames. Tang Zhen's expression had also become a lot more solemn at this moment. There were not many flames in this world that could cause the nine dragon lightning flame to be this afraid. Moreover, he was certain at this moment that the jade green flame Xiao Yan had summoned was definitely a kind of heavenly flame. The flame is jade green in color. However, there doesn't seem to be any heavenly flame on the heavenly flame ranking that possesses such a luster. The only one similar to the color is the green lotus core flame that is ranked 19th but its luster is not so dense. Moreover, even if it is the green lotus core flame, it would not be able to cause the nine dragon lightning flame to be this afraid. This young man doesn't appear to be a simple person, Tang Zhen muttered softly in his heart. 
he had never thought that this young person in front of him would also possess a heavenly flame. The red-clothed lady beside Tang Zhen also gained an unusual glint in her pretty eyes because of this scene. This man, who appeared quite young, was indeed not a country bumpkin. However, she did not know just what her chances were if she fought with him. The hands of the red-clothed lady involuntarily felt somewhat itchy when she thought of this. If their current location was not inappropriate, it was likely that she would have headed down and issued a challenge to Xiao Yan. It was not the first time that she had done such a thing. Even Tang Zhen felt helpless that she was so competitive despite being a girl. Shock also surged in the eyes of the two external elders from the pill tower within the large hall at this moment. With their experience, they were naturally able to vaguely guess just what the jade green flame was. How unexpected, this person, who looks so young, actually possesses a heavenly flame. I wonder just how many alchemists will be interested if this news spreads. When they thought of this, the eyes of those two swept over the large hall without being noticed. They did indeed see a greedy expression surging into the eyes of some people. Those seated in this place possessed some reputation in the middle region, yet even they end up feeling avarice. From this, it was possible to see just how much allure a heavenly flame possessed to an alchemist. Ten minutes swiftly flowed by in the silent, large hall. Xiao Yan beckoned with his hand when the ten minutes had just ended. The fire lotus rushed out of the flame without experiencing any loss. Finally, it emitted a boom and blasted apart, turning into a cluster of flames that entered Xiao Yan's hand. Valley Chief Tang, may I know if I have passed? Xiao Yan withdrew his flame, kept his gaze focused on Tang Zhen, and smiled as he asked with his hands cupped together. Cuckoo, do you still need the old me to voice the result? Congratulations, young friend Yen Xiao. Including you, the old me has truly gathered two people. Tang Zhen's hand fondled his beard as he laughed out loud. His eyes immediately slid to Elder Qi Hua as he said, Qi Hua, you have handled your task in a manner that is as satisfactory as it always is. You were able to find a young and outstanding person like young friend Yen Xiao. Elder Qi Hua's face revealed a smile when he heard this. He respectfully said, I was merely lucky. Being able to meet young friend Yan Shao can be considered my luck. Some alchemist grandmasters' faces in the large hall became somewhat unnatural when they heard Tang Zhen's words. This was especially the case for Grandmaster Mo, who had ridiculed Xiao Yan earlier. His expression looked as though he had just swallowed a housefly. This scene was something that he had never expected. Moreover, he simply could not understand just how Xiao Yan came to possess a heavenly flame at such an age. He's only relying on the help of the heavenly flame. There's nothing great about it. Grandmaster Mo's lips slightly twitched as he continued to stubbornly laugh in a cold manner. Xiao Yan really did not like this old fellow who spoke words that really caused others to despise him. After glancing at him, Xiao Yan shifted his eyes away and completely ignored him. Tang Zhen also grinned. With his eyesight, he was naturally able to tell that this young man called Yan Xiao definitely possessed some skill. His alchemist skill might well be at a level that hardly anyone here could compare with. Everyone, please rest assured. I will invite everyone to watch when the medicinal pill refinement is in progress. The cold smile on Grandmaster Mo's face grew denser upon hearing Tang Zhen's words. His eyes turned to Xiao Yan as he faintly said, Although you possess a heavenly flame, you will only end up ruining things if you lack ability. If you were to destroy the precious medicinal ingredients of Valley Chief Tang, it is likely that you will not be able to compensate him. Thank you for your reminder. This Grandmaster Mo can just watch from the side. Just leave the matter of aiding Valley Chief Tang in refining a medicinal pill to Grandmaster Huan and me. Xiao Yan Yan smiled as he replied. The hidden mockery in Xiao Yan's words caused Grandmaster Mo to become dull. 
His face involuntarily twitched while the teacup he was holding shook. From the looks of it, he was greatly angered by these words of Xiao Yan. He. The red-clothed lady involuntarily let out a giggle when she saw Xiao Yan anger Grandmaster M.O. to such an extent with just one sentence. However, she hurriedly shut her mouth when she saw Tang Jin glare at her. Cuckoo, everyone, let's not argue over this. The medicinal ingredients needed to refine the medicinal pill might be precious, but with the ability of my burning flame valley, we are still able to gather all of them. Therefore, there is no need for any mental burden when aiding the old me in refining the medicinal pill. Tang Jin waved his hand as he softly laughed. Additionally, the medicinal pill refinement this time around will not be a simple one. Hence, the old me shall state this clearly beforehand. As long as the two of you can aid me in successfully refining it, the reward will definitely be something that is to your satisfaction. Cook cool. Of course, you can just request if the two of you need anything. Xiao Yan's heart immediately pounded when he heard Tang Jin's words. He cupped his hands together and smiled as he asked, May I know if this reward includes some qi methods or dou techniques of the Burning Flame Valley? Tang Jin was startled when he heard this. He looked at Xiao Yan while pondering the question. After which he laughed, As long as it is not some secrets of the Burning Flame Valley that cannot be passed to others, everything else is included. May I know just what young friend Yan Xiao has set his sights on? Xiao Yan's heart pounded. His eyes bore down on Tang Zhen as he slowly uttered, Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change. Tang Zhen and the red-clothed lady by the side were startled when they heard Xiao Yan's words. They immediately frowned. The Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change was one of the key treasures of the Burning Flame Valley. Although this kind of secret technique was useless to some people, it was an incredibly sharp weapon for those who possessed a heavenly flame in their bodies. The Skyfire 3 mysterious change was able to use a kind of special method to circulate the flame hidden within one's body, allowing one to unleash an extremely powerful strength for a short period of time. Every change could unleash a kind of flame. When the three changes were superimposed on each other, its might would be quite terrifying. Of course, the energy that was unleashed from this kind of flame was quite violent. If one were to forcefully unleash it when one's body was not strong enough, it would lead to an energy backlash. Hence, even the interior of the Burning Flame Valley had preserved this Skyfire 3 mysterious change in an extremely stringent manner. Only the core disciples were able to obtain the first change of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. The other two changes would depend on their contribution to the faction and their talent. If one were to really count, it was likely that one could count the number of people who practiced the complete version of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change with one's fingers. Even the disciples of the valley would have difficulty practicing the complete version. From this, one could tell just how greatly the Burning Flame Valley valued this Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Xiao Yan's eyes intently stared at Tang Zhen. His fists also slightly tightened under his sleeves. He needed to obtain the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. If Tang Zhen refused, it was likely that he would have to spend some effort. The people in the hall all felt extremely surprised by Xiao Yan's request. They did not expect him to ask for so much. Although this high-class secret technique known as the Skyfire 3 mysterious change might be useless to some people, it possessed a great allure to others. There was an unknown number of people in the outside world who wished to obtain it. This little fellow's appetite was really quite big. Tang Zhen was quiet for a while before he slowly shook his head. He looked at Xiao Yan and said, The Skyfire 3 mysterious change is one of the key treasures of the Burning Flame Valley. According to the rules, it cannot be gifted to outsiders. Even though I am the valley chief, I cannot go against the rules. Hence, you should choose something else. Xiao Yan's heart sank when he heard this. 
It seemed that he had underestimated the position of the Skyfire Three mysterious change in the Burning Flame Valley, would he have to simply give up? The Skyfire Three mysterious change was a secret technique that seemed almost tailor-made for Xiao Yan. He possessed many types of heavenly flames. When the three changes were unleashed at the same time, the increase in his strength would be extremely frightening. Hence, Xiao Yan really desired it at all cost. Valley Chief, the Skyfire Three mysterious change is extremely important to me. Can't you make an exception? Xiao Yan asked, refusing to give up. Tang Jin sighed. He waved his hand and said, Young friend Yan Xiao, the other Qi methods or Dou techniques in my burning flame valley are also extraordinary items. Changing your request to something else will also benefit you. Xiao Yan intently frowned. A moment later, he suddenly said, Valley Chief Tang, is this medicinal pill refinement extremely important to you? Tang Ying hesitated for a moment after hearing this. He glanced at the red-clothed lady beside him as he slowly nodded. It is very important. Moreover, this medicinal pill must be successfully refined within half a year's time. I already have the intention of asking those old fellows from the pill tower to refine it if this refinement fails. Yet you did not go and find the people from the pill tower. It is likely that the reward they will request is extremely high, no? Xiao Yan softly said. He immediately continued, May I know just how high the chance of success is if this Grandmaster Huan and I aid you in your pill refinement? Tang Ying tightly knit his brows. A moment later, he slowly replied, 50%. This number was his highest estimate. This medicinal pill was a little different from an ordinary medicinal pill. It was exceptionally difficult to refine it. Using a heavenly flame to refine a medicinal pill can increase the chances of success by a little. With my help, the chances of success will increase, Xiao Yan slightly smiled slightly as he spoke. He was not being arrogant. Instead, he was confident in his alchemist abilities. This, along with his spiritual strength that was much stronger than an ordinary tier 7 alchemist, gave him the absolute confidence to say these words. Tang Zhen looked at Xiao Yan with some surprise when he heard these words. However, there was little doubt left in his eyes after the test earlier. This man, who appeared quite young, was indeed not a simple character. I am not trying to boast by saying these words. Instead, I wish to inform Valley Chief Tang that hiring me will definitely not be a mistake. This little chance of success might cause this pill refinement to exceed Valley Chief's expectations. Xiao Yan's eyes bore into Tang Zhen as he explained his talent. Tang Zhen's finger gently drew on the table as he said, Does young friend Yan Xiao not plan on giving up on the Skyfire 3 mysterious change? If Valley Chief Tang feels that this pill refinement is more important than the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, perhaps we can give it a try. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the red-clothed lady at the side without leaving a trace as he softly suggested. Xiao Yan's words caused Tang Ying to become dull. He tightly knit his brows, glanced at the red-clothed lady beside him, and mused for a long while. Only then did he slowly nod his head. He said, This pill refinement is indeed extremely important to me. It is even more important than the Skyfire Three mysterious change, Tang Ying paused when he spoke until this point. His eyes immediately looked at Xiao Yan as he laughed, Young friend Yan Xiao, the old me really admires the glib of your tongue. After you put it this way, it seems that the value of my Burning Flame Valley's Skyfire Three mysterious change has diminished. I agree with your words. However, even I cannot change the rules of the Burning Flame Valley. Xiao Yan widened his mouth and could only bitterly laugh when he heard this. He really did not have any other method if these words had no effect. However, Tang Zhen looked at Xiao Yan. His tone had suddenly changed as he said, If you successfully help me refine the pill this time around, 
I might perhaps be able to give you a chance. If you can grab it, the Skyfire 3 mysterious change will belong to you. Xiao Yan immediately rejoiced when he heard these words. Although Tang Zhen did not promise to give him the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, there was, at the very least, a chance. Regardless of how bleak this chance was, it was ultimately better than turning against the Burning Flame Valley. Xiao Yan had witnessed the strength of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. This Burning Flame Valley was named one of the Three Great Valleys. Its strength was even greater than the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Therefore, it was best if he could avoid being on bad terms. In that case, I shall thank Valley Chief Tang. Xiao Yan cupped his hands to Tang Zhen as he replied and smiled. Tang Zhen waved his hand. He let out a sigh and said, Don't thank me first. All of this balances on the precondition of the successful refinement of the medicinal pill. Moreover, even if the pill refinement is to succeed, whether you are able to successfully bring the Skyfire 3 mysterious change away with you will depend on your ability. Xiao Yan nodded. He was naturally aware that it was impossible to obtain the Skyfire 3 mysterious change without any hindrances. Full Zero W Current Novels on N slash O slash V slash 3 L slash B in dot co slash M. Since there are no more questions, everyone should return to the guest rooms and take a rest. Qi Hua, seeing that there were no other questions, Tang Zhen waved his hands toward Elder Qi Hua. He hurriedly stepped forward, cupped his hands to everyone, and smiled as he said, Please follow me. Xiao Yan and the others stood up when they saw him. They cupped their hands to Tang Zhen before following Elder Qi Hua out of the large hall. The hall once again became quiet after Xiao Yan's group left. The smile on Tang Zhen's face was also slowly withdrawn. He let out a gentle sigh. Father, are you really planning on handing the Skyfire 3 mysterious change to Yan Xiao? The red-clothed lady turned her body around. Her pretty eyes looked at Tang Zhen as she bit her lower red lip with the back of her teeth and asked. Ugh, Huayer, you should know how important the medicinal pill being refined this time around is to you. Back then, you wanted to forcefully merge with the Nine Dragon Lightning Flame, but ended up receiving a backlash from the flame. Although you have managed to keep your life, it left behind a great sequelae. If this continues, your life force will be exhausted within less than a year. Tang Zhen revealed affection in his eyes. He stood up, patted the red-clothed lady's shoulders, and continued, The success rate of me refining this medicinal pill is just as Yan Shao has said. It is not very high. Although this person is young, I dare say that he does indeed possess some ability. With his help, the chances of this medicinal pill being successfully refined will significantly increase. However, the Skyfire 3 mysterious change is a top secret technique of the Burning Flame Valley. Even if Father has agreed, it will be very difficult to pass through the Elder's Council, the red-clothed lady's eyes turned red as she softly said. I have also said that I am only giving Yen Xiao a chance. At that time, I can allow him to enjoy the treatment of the core disciples. As long as he has the ability and meets the test requirement, the elders' council will not say anything more. After all, I am the valley chief. Tang Jin smiled, waved his hand, and informed her. The red-clothed lady could only nod her head when she heard this. She gently grit her silver teeth as she said, It's all that person's fault. He is asking for so much. Cuckoo, although this fellow is unceremonious, he does possess some ability. He is already able to subdue a heavenly flame at such an age. One could explain it if he possessed the help of an expert. However, if he has relied on himself, that would be a little too terrifying, Tang Zhen laughed. He has purposefully hide his appearance. However, his actual age should be similar to what is on the surface. 
The old me has never heard of such a foreign and young tier 7 alchemist appearing in the middle region. I think that this Yen Shao should also be a fake name. Hiding his head and showing his tail. He is most likely not a good person. The red-clothed lady muttered. Clearly, she bore a large grudge because Xiao Yen had used the pill refinement to force Tang Zhen to make a choice. Tang Zhen shook his head. He affectionately patted the red-clothed lady's head before turning around and walking out a side door of the large hall. All right, stop muttering. Go and make preparations. The pill refinement will begin this afternoon. If the medicinal pill is refined, it can be considered to have removed a heavy burden in my heart, Kuku, I am a little curious about what ability that Yen Xiao possesses. Hopefully, he really lives up to my expectations.